joining today for the Better Business Bureau. We got Tiffany Schultz here. Tiffany, welcome back to the show. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Doing wonderful and ready uh, to talk about fake social media accounts. We want to help people spot these things because they are uh, they're really easy to uh, fall victim to. And um, I promised I wouldn't tell a story that I've told you and you say I always bring it up. So I'm not going to bring it up. But it, it plays into that. And and basically, you've got a lot of lookalikes out there. And and you've said this before, too, a lot of company or a lot of scammers that are always looking for that next way to get you. So how do we uh, how do we spot these things? Well, you know, we all have social media accounts, right? And we just oh. don't have one account. There's so many platforms that are out there. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, whatever of your choosing is out there. Maybe you have one account, maybe you have more than one account, but brands also have more than one account. Uh, influencers have more than one account, but scammers take advantage of that. And they throw up accounts that look like your brand or they look like a celebrity. They look like a social media influencer. And you need to be really careful when you start engaging with these brands because you wanna know that you're on a legitimate page, not a page that's run by a scammer. And we have some ideas for you, of tips that you can look for if the page is real or if the page is illegitimate. We could even add that you know, we know from different social media accounts that people even go as you and you'll, you know, you wake up and a friend has texted you and said, Hey, I think you've been hacked on social media platform X, you know, you better check it out. And when you go and look at these things, you're like, Oh my gosh, it's like, it's only been up for like three days. You know, you usually can spot some of those, but it's not always that easy. So uh, firstly, you say, look at the content, really take a close look. Fake social media pages are usually filled with very vague comment content. So you're going to see memes, you're going to see emojis. Uh, there could even be spelling and grammatical errors on the page. And if you think about a real brand, a real brand is never going to post just an emoji or just a meme. So they're going to have a full page of information. There's going to be a lot of transparency on the page. There's going to be content on the page. So if you see find something that's very vague and it doesn't have much information on it, it might be a red flag that it's a fake. Yeah, absolutely. Even if you'd start questioning yourself, that's got to be a red flag. Something's got to go off your head like, oh my gosh, this is something uh, that's not right. Uh, analyze account transparency. What uh, What do we do on that front? If you go on Facebook and the other social media platforms too, there's always a transparency page and it tells about the company or it'll tell about the celebrity or the social media influencer. Uh, look when that page was created. If it was recently created, it might be a fake. If there's not a lot of information with the transparency, it may be a fake too. So um, really dig down into the details more than just the page itself, because there could be some things that show up that just don't sound right when you start clicking around in there. Yeah, there's another red flag for you, certainly. And uh, inspect the quality of the engagement. Fake pages, um, even real pages, they can buy fans. And it looks like they have a lot of fans, but when you see that the the fans who are engaging with the content, they're really not engaging with the content. Content And if you have a page and you have hundreds of thousands of fans, maybe you're even on uh, TikTok and you have millions of fans, but nobody's ever engaging, that could be a red flag that this is a fake site that has purchased fans for that very reason to get people to think that it's a real site. So the big question is here is how do we verify that it is legit? Well, if you're running a social media page, or if you're just somebody who is, uh, you know, browsing out there, you're on your favorite celebrities page, favorite brand, favorite influencer, there is a verified badge that a lot of the pages are now offering. And you could check to see if your favorite page has that verified badge. If you don't know where to find it, there's always a frequently asked questions page on the social media platform where you can see what that badge looks like and where it should be placed. If the badge doesn't look anything like the frequently asked questions are telling you it looks like, it could be a fake. And if it's not placed in the right spot. Yeah, absolutely. And we see that more even on uh, shopping things where it says verified, per, you know, verified feedback and stuff. And I still wonder on that, that that's probably even 
going to be a scam piece to look for in the future, but uh, either way, good information. On the political front, we're a city government ag agency. We have some social media accounts out there, um, but uh, beware and be uh, beware of polarized uh, political uh, opinions. Absolutely. If the page is very slanted one way or the other in terms of political uh, content, and it's supposed to be from an influencer or supposed to be from a brand or a company, that should be a big red flag that just this just isn't legit. Because typically a brand isn't going to have just content that's one way or the other that's very polarized political opinions. Yeah, it's a good, good way to spot uh, a, a scam, certainly. And finally, uh, watch out for those phone reviews. I kind of jumped the gun a little bit on that, that but uh, that always is something that I'm trying to figure out if they're real or if they're not, because when you're making that purchase, you want the legitimate product, but man, so difficult sometimes. If a page is filled with all positive reviews or all negative reviews, that's also a big red flag that it's a fake because any legitimate company is always going to have a mixed bag of reviews, whether positive, negative, neutral. Uh, there's no company out there that usually has, you know, thousands and thousands of five-star reviews. Either consumers just don't believe in a five-star review. Maybe they have a four, but if they're all fives or if they're all ones, that's probably a good indication that you're dealing with a fake, especially when you're buying a product. Maybe it's a product that you've been served an ad for and it's a have to have product and you go ahead and buy it, but all these red flags are on that site. You're probably dealing with a scammer who's out to get your financial and personal information. Man, do I hate scammers. And uh, you want to be aware of scammers. We just talked about this recently too, but uh, certainly uh, uh, be aware of any scams that are out there. So we've already told you ways on to find these things, but there's also scams within scams. Uh, right. And they're out there maybe to steal your financial information for the first attempt. And then they're going to come back and steal your personal information for the second attempt. Uh, they're always one step ahead of the game. And there's a great tool that BBB offers, uh, bbb.org slash scammer, scam tracker, bbb.org slash scam tracker. I'll say that again. So if you've experienced a scam, we'd love for you to report that scam to us because we take that information. We're able to educate others of the scams that are taking place in the marketplace. You can also check and see what scams are going on in your area. Or if you've experienced a scam, you're not sure if it's a scam, you can look up to see if that scam has been reported by somebody else. And if the details are exactly the same, you're like, yeah, I'm not going to fall for that. That's a scam. So lots of good things on that scam tracker tool. We do want your report because your report is just going to help us help others for not falling for these scams. We come on the show, Jeremy, and we talk about these scams. And a lot of these have been reported to us. So um Take a few minutes, report it to us. Let us know what's going on in the marketplace. Yeah, and a good point to that too. I mean, all of the things that you talk about, these are things that have happened to people. Like this isn't like, you know, we're just spitballing it here and, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. These are actual legit things that continue to happen to folks uh, no matter where they live uh, and what they're doing. So you got to take it seriously and you, you got to keep uh, keep up to date with it in this Scam Tiger's great. Just running anything by PBB, by the way, when you're even trying to fig figure out if it's a legit company, right away, you can get some great information on, oh, this person had some trouble with, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's it works really well. So, uh, Tiffany, uh, great information as always. Uh, one more time for people if they want to learn more of uh, the stuff we talked about today or to find that scam tracker, where can they go? All the content we talked about is on bbb.org. The scam tracker can be found at bbb.org slash scam tracker. Tiffany, thank you so much for your time as always. We'll check back with you real soon. Thanks for having me.